What you see here is a two millimeter brown spot. If you look at it just with a naked eye, you may say it's benign. But something in my gut told me we should take a biopsy. We took a biopsy, it was a melanoma in situ. The patient also felt that she wanted to take a biopsy. In this area, you cannot do Dermtech, which is a test that is allowing you to evaluate the genetic makeup and the risk factor of this lesion becoming a melanoma or being presently a melanoma. You cannot use it for people under 18 and on the scalp or the palms and soles. Other areas, it can help you as another tool to decide whether to do a biopsy or not to do it, especially if you're considering the aesthetic nature of the area and how it will heal. Besides that, there's another method you can use, which is dermoscopy, which is a magnifying glass that looks at it and you can see a little bit more clearly the different character of the mole and follow the different rules. But again, the only way that you can tell 100% is by removing it. And you can see we removed it and everything heals beautifully and she's, thank God, alive, which is doing yearly complete skin exams. And that's the key. If you have a new mole and you're in your 40s or 50s, it's a little more questionable and you should increase the, your sensitivity to biopsying it. But the most important thing is change. If a mole is changing, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a melanoma, but it is a higher likelihood to be one. And therefore you should go ahead if you're unsure and take a biopsy. One of the ways to do that is to take a picture and follow it, whether it changes or not. And that's usually what I do. I recommend tall body photography, as well as individual mole measurements and photographs. If they all change in the same way, usually that's benign. But if one mole changes out of all the other moles, then there got to be a reason. Either there was trauma or there was a sunburn. But if there was no sunburn or trauma, if it is hormonal change, then all the other moles should change. If it is because they gained weight, pregnancy or other reason, it should be one area. Another thing that can affect it is also if you take hormonal therapy. Some hormonal therapy, like if you're trying to get pregnant or if you're taking birth control pills, can affect and can increase the risk of melanoma and therefore changing in benign moles or dysplastic moles. And so you should go ahead and let your doctor know if you're planning to do in vitro or do some hormonal therapy because it may change how they would approach watching the mole maybe more frequently or removing it completely. Hopefully this was helpful to you and keep you healthy and your family as well. Thank you. As we said, Levin Dermatology, be good, do good, say good, and may good come your way. God bless.